new technology that's making waves in the world of AI, Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. It can do pretty much anything you tell it to do. Sam Altman, among some of the brightest minds in the world, from policymakers to AI experts, recently gathered to explore the thrilling possibilities and daunting challenges of artificial intelligence. Let's take a look. Sam Altman is the creator of ChatGPT and the CEO of OpenAI. He painted a picture of AI's potential to revolutionize science, offering hope for curing diseases like cancer and addressing critical issues like climate change. But he also warned of dark consequences, misinformation, housing discrimination, harassment, and fraud. By the end of this video, you'll gain a deeper insight into the world of AI oversight and the confusing questions that policymakers and industry leaders struggle with. Have you ever wondered about the future of AI and whether it will be entirely positive or not? It appears that it will be a mixture of both, with tremendous opportunities and complex challenges. The complexity arises because this isn't a straightforward tale of success. We're on the brink of a technological and societal revolution, and such transformations always bring change. Even though the overall outcome is expected to be highly beneficial, there will undoubtedly be losses along the way. Some jobs may be replaced, our way of life could undergo significant alterations, and certain aspects of our daily routines might disappear. No matter how substantial the advantages, there are numerous obstacles to overcome. The reality is that not everything will be perfect, but it seems inevitable at this point. The ongoing narrative of human discovery in science and technology, accompanied by coevolution, has seen us progress from the agricultural revolution to the computer age, paving the way for the current AI revolution. It's essentially a single extraordinary story of humans advancing in tandem with science and technology. This story is the most thrilling one ever told. Imagine a world where the cost of intelligence dramatically decreases and abundance becomes the norm. This transformation is akin to what we may achieve with energy. These two components, abundant and affordable energy and intelligence, are the keys to everything else we desire. They have the potential to revolutionize and enhance people's lives for the better. Now, when we ponder the current workforce, particularly those whose jobs may be replaced by AI, such as truck drivers and factory assembly line workers, we're faced with the question of how to mitigate the negative consequences of these job displacements. While one can offer some general insights, making precise predictions is challenging because technological progress is often different from our intuitions and expectations. If you had asked about AI's impact a decade ago, experts would have said that it would primarily affect blue-collar jobs. It would take over tasks like truck driving and factory work, as well as heavy machinery operation. Perhaps it might venture into some cognitive tasks, but no one envisioned tackling the most challenging problems, like proving new mathematical theorems or creating original science. As for creative tasks like coding, people thought they might be the last frontier, and there was even skepticism about whether AI could ever truly replicate human creativity. However, the reality today appears quite different. AI excels at specific tasks rather than entire jobs. It handles these tasks with great precision but lacks the long-term coherence and creativity of humans. Instead of replacing jobs entirely, it significantly enhances human productivity, making people more efficient in their existing roles. Moreover, AI seems to be progressing in the opposite direction of earlier predictions. It can excel at creative tasks such as coding, followed by other cognitive work. It's far from humanoid robots replacing all jobs. Now, when it comes to the potential disruption in the job market, especially for those in roles that AI could replace, like factory workers and truck drivers, we must consider how to mitigate the negative effects. While there's much we could do, it's not sufficient to merely create something like a universal basic income or long-term unemployment insurance. These measures can provide financial support as people transition to new jobs, but they don't address the core of what individuals desire. People seek agency and self-determination, the ability to shape the future alongside society and express themselves through meaningful work. Many individuals work jobs they dislike, and as a society, we grapple with the balance between working more or less. What's important is that we all have the opportunity to engage in something meaningful and play a part in advancing the future. One can hope that as jobs like long-haul truck driving gradually vanish, 
we find not only economic solutions such as UPI, but also ways to collectively share ownership and decision making over the future. It's crucial that we not only share the benefits of advancements like artificial general intelligence, but also share decision making and access to the technology itself. We envision a world where we distribute ownership rights to fractions of the AGI system, which can be traded, pooled, or utilized for creative endeavors, entrepreneurial pursuits, and more. This way, we empower individuals to actively shape their futures. Imagine a world where every individual possesses a tiny voting right over how artificial general intelligence is employed. As AGI advances, your 1 18 billionth ownership fraction becomes increasingly valuable. Sam Altman even playfully discussed the idea of having an AI government with an AI president making unbiased, rational decisions, equipped with the collective knowledge of human history and psychology, including the complexities of universal basic income. But let's be clear, we're still a long way from having a system that's capable and reliable enough to entrust such decisions. However, something is fascinating about the idea. Imagine a government that can engage with every person on Earth, deeply understanding their preferences, beliefs, and how they weigh trade-offs. It could collectively optimize decisions based on the preferences of humanity or a specific nation, such as the US. The notion is intriguing, but this AI government must remain free from influence as our current government often succumbs to the sway of special interests. If an AI government could operate without any external influence, it might be the only way to achieve truly objective and intelligent decision-making for the benefit of society. Now, as for handing over complete decision-making power to an AI, it's a challenging prospect. But here's the thing, many of us aren't comfortable with existing human decision-makers either. Our governments can be swayed by corporate interests and money, making choices that may not serve the best interests of the population. So while an AI government might be a compelling idea, we still need to ensure that it operates with the highest ethical standards, transparency, and accountability to be a viable option. The current system as it stands is undoubtedly flawed and in need of reform. The current state of affairs in our world, with governments influenced by money and corruption, is indeed far from ideal. While there's potential for AI to bring about improvements, it's also essential to acknowledge that we have a long way to go in harnessing AI for the greater good. Regarding the future of AGI, it's no longer a binary before and after scenario, but rather a continuum of intelligence. The development of AGI is shaped by various factors, such as increased computational power, more efficient algorithms, and the ability to improve itself over time. AGI will not suddenly emerge, but will evolve gradually. When contemplating AGI's potential and its control, there are two critical axes to consider. Short timelines versus long timelines and slow takeoff versus fast takeoff. The most controllable and safe scenario lies in the quadrant of short timelines and slow takeoff. While some individuals speculated that AGI could develop rapidly in a matter of days, it is more likely that it will take a decade or several decades, which is still relatively rapid in historical terms. In this context, it's vital to make the right decisions, establish safety measures, and put global regulations in place to ensure the responsible development of AGI. The challenges are significant, and there's a need for careful consideration, much like the discussions that surrounded the development of nuclear weapons. The progress we see in the world's commitment to addressing AGI's challenges is promising, and experts are optimistic about the steps being taken to approach this technology responsibly. Sam Altman advocates for regulatory intervention to address the increasing risks posed by powerful AI models. He emphasizes that companies should take responsibility for their actions, regardless of government regulations. Altman suggests a precision regulation approach for AI, viewing safeguards and accountability as essential foundations for both innovation and maintaining public trust. One of his concerns is AI's potential to manipulate voter behavior, particularly in upcoming elections. To address this, Altman supports regulations that ensure transparency regarding AI-generated content and calls for the implementation of disclosure guidelines. Despite his support for regulation, Altman is cautious about stifling innovation or hindering the growth of small businesses. He believes that excessive regulatory pressure could slow down the progress of the American industry, potentially allowing competitors like China to advance more quickly. While Altman is in favor of larger tech firms facing regulatory scrutiny, he stresses that these regulations should not impede the development of smaller startups or open source initiatives. During a hearing, he stated, I think America has got to continue to lead, and I think this can happen with regulatory pressure. It should be on us. It should be on Google. It should be on the other small set of people in the lead the most. 
We don't want to slow down smaller startups. We don't want to slow down open source efforts. The goal is to strike a balance that promotes responsible AI development without hampering innovation and progress in the technology sector. That concludes today's video. If you liked our content, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.